I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Turney, if you would please. Uh, we can, you can go ahead and start your presentation. <clears throat> they call economics the dismal science, and I have a feeling that this sort of matches that uh, type of projection. Um, the forecasts are much less than the one that we did in 2005. Uh, it's down from the 2.1 billion through the 20-year horizon down to 1.736 billion, which is a 17% decline. Um, we've had, we've all suffered a severe recession. We all know that. Uh, Arizona suffered it much more than the average, than the rest of the country. Um, currently, we are, in terms of employment, where we were at the beginning of the RTA uh, contract. We're essentially back to 2006 in terms of employment. The same is true for where taxable sales are in Pima County. We are back to where we were when we started the RTA in 2006. So um, in real dollars, it's even worse. It looks to be about where we were in 2000. So the spending capacity of that um, diminishing revenue uh, is substantially declined. This is a troubling trend in taxable sales, not just in Pima County, but statewide, uh, where the share of disposable income that is in taxable sales has been declining for a long time. And in Pima County, it sort of fell off the cliff after 2006. And over the course of this graph, we've lost 50% of our taxing capacity in this county uh, regarding the sales tax. Um, there are a lot of reasons for this, uh, everything from sources of income and income concentration, uh, aging of the population, it's changing our buying patterns. They're, the buying pattern and uh, some of the existing laws are affecting a couple of particular taxable sales categories, particularly retail sales and hotel motel. Um, in terms of source of income, this is a graph of the share of personal income in transfer payments. And it's really kind of depressing. Um, we're up to about 24% of personal income in the form of transfer payments, either from retirees or from people who are still economically stressed in the community and who are relying on some form of government assistance or unemployment insurance. And the share of personal income in wages and salaries has been declining for a long time. It had a hump there in the sort of in the late 90s, but it's been declining over time. Essentially, the labor share of the economy has been d diminishing for a long time. Um, the age distribution can also affect it. This is a, a calculations that we made using consumption, the consumer expenditure surveys by age, and then we took the weighted population. Uh, we weighted the share of income spent by age across age groups. And you can see that's another one of these declining uh, lines. This is the one for uh, food away from home, which is similar to restaurant and bars. So for all of these reasons, um, we have a declining uh, taxable sales base. This is a graph of online taxable sales. This is uh, an estimate that I, <coughs> it's US data, but it, I sort of redefined it so it looks like our tax base. Um, and it's up to around 12% now, you know, meaning total retail sales, 12% of it is in online buying. Some online buying is taxable locally. For example, if you get on Home Depot online and you buy something that's sent to your house, that's taxed as though it's a local sale because of legal nexus. If you buy from, say, L.L. Bean out of Freeport, Maine, that's not. Um, and so that goes into a use tax, assuming it's paid, but even if it went into a use tax, it would not go to the RTA at all, uh, nor would it get shared with city and counties. Um, this is a graph of the retail category with and without the um, online buying, and you can see the online buying affects the level, but it doesn't change the shape of that horrible graph where retailing is essentially falling off a cliff. Um, and this is a graph of taxable sales in Pima County in hotel motel divided by a, a CPI. And I looked 
everywhere for indicators that could explain that crash and simply couldn't find one. Deplaning passengers fall, but not that much. And I finally had to conclude, <coughs> excuse me, that a, a portion of that, maybe a half or a third of that decline is associated with third party online booking companies. So that when we go to Travelocity or we go to Hotels.com and we book with a hotel, those companies only pay on the wholesale portion of the room cost. They don't pay on the full retail value. Um, so our forecast, this is a percent growth in the forecast, very long term uh, forecast out to 2043, uh, is about 4% annual growth per year, which isn't much more than projected population growth and inflation. And as a share of income, um, we're expecting it to continue to decline, but perhaps not quite as fast as it has in recent years. So if you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to address them. Any questions from the board? The dismal science. <laughs> Hearing no questions, uh, we thank you very much for your uh, presentation and for your research. And we uh, are uh, gratified that we can call on you uh, f for this uh, information, and, and we're going to continue to do so with your permission. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.